Hi everyone, importing Excel sheets in SharePoint is extremely easy and useful. What about starting uh, working on Excel sheet, having a table there, and then deciding to have a workflow, applying a workflow or an automatism? So this is great and this functionality can help you to streamline your work and productivity. Now, let's say that you have some choice columns in the Excel table and then you want to have this properly rendered and visible in the SharePoint list. Now, in this video, I'll show you how you can properly set a multi-choice column in the Excel file and then have it properly rendered and displayed in the SharePoint list. Let me show you how you can do that thanks to an exceptional contributor to the community, Federico Sapia, that worked on this specific scenario, analyzing and doing some experiment. All right, enough talk. Let's go and I'll show you how you can do that. Let's go. Here I am in Excel. Let's start to create our table here. And then we are going to import this table into SharePoint because we want to have some sort of automatism or workflows there. Now here I'm going to add as a third column, employee ID, and finally partners. Okay, let's add some content here. Our nice and gorgeous colleague Adele Vance. Let's add just an ID and as a partner, they are here the trick. So when we will import a list regarding the column choice, multi-choice, we need to separate words with semicolon and then hashtag. And then you can type the word that you want. So this because SharePoint will be able then to map the words that are here in the Excel sheet with the value that you write and you are going to set up in the multi-choice column. So I'll show you in a bit. So let me now add another one, dog, cat. And very important, you have also to finish and end the value in this cell with semicolon and then hashtag. Okay, now we can move forward by adding additional employee. So let me just add another ID. And here we are going to have lion and then dolphin, semicolon, hashtag, very important. And the last one, let's say cat. All right. So let's move with the other one. Just the last one, Siciliani. And that's, that's it. So again, here, semicolon, hashtag, I can add dog, semicolon, hashtag, just dog. Okay. So that's, that's my table. Very important. Now, when you import in SharePoint, SharePoint in order to identify the table, this should be properly formatted. And to do that, I'm going to select the four columns that I'm using here. I'm going to select the full area and then I'm going to click on format as table. Let's select just one. Yeah, I have headers on my table and that's it. Everything is done. So I can now import this table. So I have already covered this in, in the previous sheet. So this is my table. I follow the exact steps that we have seen. So now I can save this and jump on SharePoint in order to import my list. We are ready to go. So I'm going to, in this home site, I'm going to hit the button new list. And then finally, I'm going to select Excel. Upload. I'm going to target my Excel sheet. Open. Okay, the file is in use, of course. I need to close this file. And then again, I can target this file, open. And then finally, I have my table selected. I have a second table, which is in the second sheet. I'm going to use the first one. 
no, let's say the second one that we created together. All right. So the title would be the last name. I'm going to have a single line of text for the name. And then uh, this is going to be also a single line of text. And finally, let's go to the funny part. So this is going to be a choice, choice column. Okay, now we have this uh, st strange characters that we can see here. Let's go on next. Import to import from Excel. This is the name of my list. Let's click on create. And now SharePoint will generate the list for me. So what do we have here? Surname, name, and then we have employee ID and partners. So this is this looks not very good. Okay. And in order to format properly this column, let's go on column settings and then edit. All right, here we are. Now we have to add the choice value. And this it's going to be dog. Then we are going to have horse then cat we have lion right and then dolphin all right i think i added all animals so now you can also set some color if you want let's make it more spicy and gorgeous i think i covered all animals and now as a last step in the more options, I want to set this as a multiple selections. Let's hit the button save and there we go. Like for magic, you have now every choice completely separated and properly formatted in the column. Also, this column that was previously with the decimal symbol now it's no longer visible because it's a single line of text but this is the trick so here is how you can easily have and render multi-choice column in sharepoint by importing an excel sheet cool right thanks again and kudos to federico sapia for covering this use case if you want to see more video like this one write sharepoint in the comment or just let me know what do you think about this use case and scenario i hope to see you next time